Namaskaram. In this series, I'm going to introduce you to three exotic crops that you can grow anywhere in the world. Starting with Indian yam, greater yam and elephant yam. These are my three favorite sources of carbs and they're very easy to grow. First on the list is greater yam. It's also known as white yam, yam and kachal in our place. It's technically known as Dioscoria, also Dioscoria. Taste of this crop is kinda nutty and earthy. In our place, we use it for savory dishes, whereas in Philippines, they use it for making cakes and cupcakes. So it's a really a versatile crop. When eaten raw, this crop is toxic for animals and for humans. Even the leaves are mildly toxic, but when cooked, it's good for treating tumors hemorrhoids and fever. So it's a sterile crop and we grow it from scrap. You only need a small portion of this root vegetable to grow. It requires a loose, well-drained soil and the quality of the soil doesn't even matter. This crop can really thrive. Being a tropical crop, it requires a decent amount of water and it can't stand temperatures about 30 degrees. One question I get all the time is, is it important to creep it up? Yes, it's very important to creep it up. The higher it creeps, the better the yield would be. So the best part about this crop is that it can be grown as a companion crop along with your coconut trees, or you could have it by your trees that you grow for wood. This way, you're getting more food from the same amount of land. These crops that I'm gonna talk about is perfect for multi-layer farming or high-density farming. This crop takes about nine to 10 months to mature. The maturing of this crop is given away by maturing of the leaves. The leaves would dry and fall off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Next week, I'm coming with Colocasia. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon. Nanni, Namaskar.